Wait. I forgot. No, I forgot. It always plays copyright music at the start of Fallout games. I I forgot. No. No. Uh, fuck it. Who cares? What up, Jay? Oh, I skipped it. Oops. <laughs> <clears throat> How, why don't you know? It's a boy. A boy. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh, oh James. We did it. A son. A beautiful son. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... What do you think about player name? Yeah, I can type my own name. That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. I can I can randomize. I'd love to. Oh my god, look at that chin. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Why are there so many in this game? What up, Southwest? <clears throat> That's not what I look like at all. like your dad so i don't think that's happen. true <laughs> oh oh very strapping mm. it's a big world out there son full of all sorts of people what about you what kind of person are you going to be you're just James? A... Catherine? James? Catherine. she's in cardiac James. arrest start compression James. get the baby out of here move move one one thousand two one thousand come on Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Okay. Doctor number one. We need a doctor, not a dead one. Fail to meet my expectations. Now and don't look straight into the light, pal. James and its cheerly chatter. Decorations. Your future's making toys in this place will feel just like Come on over here, son. Come on. Walk to daddy. No. Come to daddy. Just a little further.
come to daddy. No! <laughs> There's such a disparity between the mouse sensitivity for in this menu and mouse sensitivity in the game. You can make it. Go. Yeah. Just a little further. I crouch. Oh. You can make it. Just a little further. You're trying to cage me. I know it. You go. My goodness. Just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would Not only am I walking, I'm parkouring. I know you don't like it when daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just I knew you were going to cage me. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. I wish I was a There's like invisible walls. Uh, <clears throat> don't need strength. Seven perception, endurance. I don't need those. Charisma, absolutely. I don't need to be smarter. So many. Fuck. I think it was fine. <clears throat> Quite Intelligence is fucked up in three. How so? Serves me right for trying to pin you in. Come on over here. Yeah. I want to show you something. See you tried to jail me. Your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation twenty one six. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a third. Oh, that's right. Of the water of life. Freely. I forgot about you that part of it. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. I'm one year old and I'm following you like this. There's no way. These experiments don't they have to do The experiment to prepare. Prepare for survival. Surprise! 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 Blinded the poor kid. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday! Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. What up, Luigi? Congratulations, young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Why aren't you looking at me? There we go. When you turn ten, well, you're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. 
So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip Boy 3000. Get used to it. You will be getting your first work. Get used to it. It's going to be on your wrist for the rest of your life. Enjoy your party. You're only 10 once, so have fun. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. Wow, okay, bitch. You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I just help with the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess. Ha! I knew I surprised you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak. Issue 14. All right, and I mean, I guess. No missing pages. I found this in a box of my father's old things. Believe it or not. Imagine him reading comic books. I don't believe it. I guess everybody it. was 10 once. Well, I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? Happy birthday. Oh, man, you got a pit boy. I wish I was 10. That, that's... That's, those are the words of someone who thinks that they're never going to be 10. They're not going to make it. It's time to cut the cake. Andy, wait. How's it going? Come on. How's it going, pal? Daddy, Having a good time? Not to ask all official. Come on, Listen, I know once you're finished being a good host, sure anyone else I have did. Some... Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, what? listen to me ramble. <laughs> what? <You're laughs> present, aren't you? Fiddlesticks. What 10-year-old doesn't like presents? I was 10 once, believe it or not. My goodness, the vault was practically crowded back then. Not like today. So few young people now. But here I am rambling on again, and you listening so politely. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that sweet I made for you just this morning. And it's all for you. No sharing required today. I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. No. said I didn't have to share. Who's talking about sharing, moron? I want the whole thing. Now are you going to give me that sweet roll or am I going to have to give you a knuckle sandwich? Oh yeah? We'll see about that. You're going to be sorry you look. Ugh, this is supposed to be a party, you know? Fun? You should try it sometime, daddy. You might like it. Ah! Butch, Happy what birthday. do you think you're doing? Leave him alone. You all right, son? Sure of it, he didn't I hurt you. Suspected did. a thing. Now go on and enjoy yourself. What's Butch's problem anyway? I can't believe he tried to start a fight at your own birthday party. What a jerk! Come on, don't ask me that. You know he would if I asked. But where would that leave me? I don't know. A good friend. What up, Waluigi? Well, time. I Daddy, every time I had a problem, nobody would ever talk to me again. We'll think of some way to get Butch back, I promise. But I'm not getting my father involved. <sighs> okay. I know you were busy with the water purifier. Everything's fine, I hope. Are you all right? Is Butch giving you a hard time again? I'm glad to hear it. 
Once you start letting bullies push you around, you'll never see the end of it. Come on now. I bet there's someone else out there I'm a ballistic weapon. I don't like energy weapons. I've never liked energy weapons in Fallout games. I wasn't worried. You can fix anything, right? Nice point. Anyway, I'm glad you could make it. So, what do you think we should call our guest? It's got to be totally How are you filled. enjoying the party, Mrs. Palmer? Say, how about those vault I help with the decorations, you know. Who wants to go around all day oh, being called really? a vault lord? Sometimes I think you really you are as dumb as you look. You did such a splendid job. Show us how nice smart you are, boy. Wally. What, what is should that? we call ourselves? One of the three things. Here's nice one. Part. Hello, Officer Wally, Gomez. Wally, the big cheese. I'm glad you could make it. That's you, Butch. I'm the glad big to cheese. be here. I think it's important to keep in nice touch try. with the young people. But shouldn't you know, it be the big part cheese of my job and Wally? Was, well, Why do you always like have party. to get your name in there? Uh, sure thing, Officer Gomez. Well, it's been nice chatting with you. Thanks again for coming. How's it going? How do you like that pit boy son? Fit all right and everything? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A-series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. Thank you, pal. Thank you so much for the hat. I hope you appreciate the effort Amata put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. What the fuck do you mean? Neither of these options are very good. Don't presume too much on her friendship, young man. I'm still the overseer, and I'm still in charge of this vault and everyone in it. Your mother would yeah, you're doing such a good job. <laughs> now go on and enjoy your party. I hope Butch didn't hurt you. You want to tell me what that was all about? Why, that little... I figured it was him that started it. He's been nothing but trouble since the day was born. You let me handle this and try to stay out of the way. Listen, once you're finished being a... All right, Jonas? Butch. Hey, Doc. Hey, we'll sit down Officer here. Gomez! Thanks. Party, I'll send him right down. Can it? I've had it with you, but hey, that was just. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that, Waluigi time, but maybe if it's fun to stream and people enjoy it. I didn't want to stream for a long time because I mean I've played the Fallout games so many times. It's hard for me to want to play something that I remember so well, but it's been a while. It's been a few years at least. For this game, even longer. I'm not going to tolerate any more of your bullying. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. They sure did. My, my. Ten years old well, maybe. already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change I'm not opposed to playing those three games. And now look at row. you. A great big grown-up ten-year-old. All four is good. I, a lot of people didn't like it, but I think it's fun. Such a special occasion. Honestly, they're all good. They're, like, all three of them are really solid. Just for you. I hope you like it. Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. Just be patient. Oh, on, you don't Thank want to you. ruin the surprise, do you? Go ahead. For now, Jones is waiting. I'm keeping my eye on you. What are Good you up. doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. <laughs> you sure are. Pip boy and everything. Look at that. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. <sighs> oh man, it's been a while since um I played the this game, this game specifically. Um you ready for your surprise? Hard for me to remember what weapon is my favorite, but uh, I generally like rifles. I like the single shot rifles. I'm stealthy, long range lover. So 
Jonas Any gun that helps me with that is good in my book. Took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch must place that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? We sure can't, unless we want the overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. It's kind of crazy that Liam Neeson is one of the main characters in this game. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot anytime you want. Couldn't have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. You never knew, Southwest. This is one of the reasons why I like um, Liam Neeson so much. So it's this game. Um, Qui Gon Jinn, you know. Aslan. Good work. That's one less round roach to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Smile. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. GOAT. Everyone here in the vault takes it when they're 16. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So. Pay attention and try not to fall asleep. You know what the overseer says? We are born in the vault, we die in the vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Huh. Sound familiar? That's not the way it works. And it won't do to go around asking questions like that. Especially not around the overseer. I want to tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know. But it is your home. You're safe here. Stay on the overseer's good side and you always will be. You understand? You need to appreciate all you have. Because what's up there on the outside, that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this year you take the goat. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. Take care, son. Now get out of here, and good luck. Good morning. Hey, 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 way, sport. It's been a snakes. while since you stopped in here to see us. It's the big goat mind. day today, right? God, Butch, why don't you just trash. leave me alone? What are you going to do? Him. Yeah, what do you want? None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? Like I'm gonna listen to a little shrimp like you. Get lost, Poindexter. And who are you? Her boyfriend? Ha! Keep talking like that, boy. And we'll send you back to your daddy with a few broken bones for him to fix. You've gotta be kidding me. Come on, tunnel snakes. This twerp needs another lesson. Butch, uh, stop it! Leave him alone! Uh, tough guy, Tunnel huh? snakes rule! 
Hey, hey, oh, oh. One of them sounds like like a forty year old man. No, I want to fight. Whatever you say, Watch Butch. You the You're the boss. Tunnel snakes rule. Fine. Let's go. Even with the pills you gave me last week. Thanks for getting rid of them. <sighs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father's the overseer, I guess. Idiots. How do I put my fists away? R. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. I'm sure you will, especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. We'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. Good luck. Oh, 72, eh? I get to choose what thing you set up? Back off! Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brutch. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A yeah, we gotta take the Malco test. Yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate but the doctor stepped out for a while. What do you do? Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another Vault resident. What do you do? Damn, Grandma. Yes, Grandma. Six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you? I don't remember that, Jay. Question seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Question eight. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book. Issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain You want it. private restroom when no one is looking and
Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. We don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. Get out of my face. Hello. All finished? Here you are, Mr. Brach. I hope I did okay. Nothing for you to worry about, Miss Almodovar. Let's see. Very well done. Looks like it's the supervisory track for you. Thanks. See you tomorrow. I've got other things to do. Apparently, you're management material. You're going to be trained as a shift supervisor. Could I be talking to the next overseer? Stranger things have happened. Yeah, good to know that the goat occasionally gets it right. You know what they say about monkeys and typewriters. Well, I'm glad things turned out so well for you. I hope your classmates find their results half as satisfying. Time to not agree with any of the things it said. Um... I want speech. I want small guns. I want lockpick. Good to see you. Yo, Cheech. I'm done. Ah, uh, Butch. Can I admit that I've been with? Yes. Bye. Bye. Come on, you've got to wake up. What? 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 You've got to get out of here. Your dad is gone, and my father's men are looking for you. You don't understand. Your dad somehow opened the main door and left the vault. My father, I've never seen him so angry. Listen to me. If the guards find you, they'll kill you. Why? It's Jonas. They killed him. My father's men. They took him and... Oh my God. Hey, no. You have to leave now. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just sorry you had to find out like this. I know Jonas was your friend. But we've got to go now. My father's men will be here any minute. I'm sorry, but I think you'll have to follow your dad. You'll have to escape from the vault. Listen, maybe it isn't any of my business, but didn't your dad tell you that he was leaving? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure he had his Oh, I'm sleep. sorry. Uh, supposed to explain everything to you? That's kind of sad. It matter. I can help you escape. I have my own plan. Listen. There's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these okay. to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. Okay, I'll try to meet you at the exit. Watch out for security. Good luck. I'll meet you at the vault door if I can, but don't wait for me. My desk.
I think I'll just sleep. Sooner or later. Why? You gotta help me. My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches. No, I can't go. Try to make this as painless as possible. Whoa, Butch! Whoa! Damn, she she immediately sat down and started drinking after that experience. friend I've ever had, man. Hey, I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my tunnel snake's jacket. Go ahead, take it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Wow, it's so, so inaccurate. on Grandma Taylor That'd be sad. No. Um. Lucky it was me who found you. The others won't be so forgiving. I don't know what you're up to, and I, I don't want to know. Just just clear out of here, and I'll pretend I never saw you. It's a real shame it's come to this. I can't believe what they did to Jonas. Officer Mack was just out of control. But you're a good kid. You didn't do anything to deserve this. Go find your dad if you can. Ah, young sir. How very good to see you. It's our only chance, don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doctor. I'm not gonna let anyone see. I wish Freeze was here.
What up, shout dear? Do you feel Bulamata? Officer Mac may enjoy this, but I don't. Just tell us what I don't like quick save. Quick save is F five. Oh, weird. You're a little bitch and dead. Oops, 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 oops. What are you going to do, Daddy? Beat me to death like you did poor Jonas? Gotcha now. The overseer won't tolerate this kind of behavior. Baby, little, little baby. I hope you're here to turn yourself in, young man. You're already in enough trouble as it is. Don't make it worse for yourself. Oh, is that all? Is there anything else I can get you while you're here? You'll get nothing from me. I'll die before I see the safety of the vault compromised again. Save your sanctimony. The world is a dangerous place and I make no apologies for doing whatever it takes to keep the vault safe. Guards, help me! Jonas, thank you so much for your things. How do I see what I just picked up? No. Hold on, Jonas. I need to record this first. I, I don't really know how to tell you this. I hope you'll understand, but I know you might be angry. I thought about it for a long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So many things could have gone wrong. And there's really no telling how the Overseer will react when he finds out. It's best if he can blame everything on me. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. It was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. You're ready to be on your own. Maybe someday things will change and we can see each other again. I can't tell you why I left or where I'm going. I don't want you to follow me. God knows life in the vault isn't perfect. But at least you'll be safe. Just knowing that will be enough to keep me going. Don't mean to rush you, Doc, but I'd feel better if we got this over with. Okay, go ahead. Goodbye. I love you. Thank you. I told you my father wasn't himself. I don't know what he might have done if you hadn't come along. You'd better get out of here. I'll try to meet you at the vault door. If I don't make it, good luck.
Amata. I don't know, no. No, you didn't need me. If anyone can survive out there, it's you. Yeah, I didn't know she was there. It's tempting, but my place is here. The vault needs me more than you do. I'm the only one who has a chance to talk some sense into my father. Listen, if you do catch up with your dad, tell him I'm sorry for, for you know, Jonas and, and my father and everything. Goodbye. Whoa, in stereo. So loud. <laughs> Level four, I see. Okay. Gotta get this one when I turn level four so I can get the most value. Oh, I'm gonna do this one. You wacky wastelanding? I don't think that's a thing. For this one. Is it? DLC. DLC. I mean, in New Vegas, there it there is a thing that has that. It's like I don't remember what they call it. It's like you can take two of them, and there's like a list of things that make things different, make your playstyle different, or something. And one of them is Wacky Wasteland.
Is there a way to sprint? Always run. Left shift is run. Am I running already? Oh my god, I'm already running. This is running? I'm so slow. See the glitch? I don't know what you're talking about. Welcome, sir or madam, to Crazy Wolfgang's traveling junk store. The depot of detritus, the shop of slop, and the caravan of crap. Now. What odds and ends can I, the craziest of all possible Wolfgangs, offer to you? Crazy Wolfgangs got just what you need, assuming you need the random junk that I've got. Yeah. Have to go now. And drive me insane. I put my gun away. Ready, reload. Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Nope, sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. It's called the Wasteland for a reason, but there are settlements too spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. To the south, you've got Rivet City. But don't bother going to D.C. The place is a war zone. Oh yeah, Rivet City. That place is so fucking far away. What about it? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides... Most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, There'll be 100 caps in it for you. 100 caps. Well, that's mighty decent of you. Well, 
Well, come to think of it, I do remember a stranger coming through here. I wouldn't do that in this playthrough. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. Yeah, I know, right? I feel like it is worth a little bit more. And every eye shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be stricken deaf to hear the thunder of his voice. Let the men, women, and children of the earth come forth to gather and behold the power of Adam. Let who have we here? Could it be a new edition Could it of be? community? Dear child, oh. welcome. welcome to Megaton. I am Confessor Cromwell, prophet of Atom and father of the Undying Glow. Please, child, come to the church anytime, anytime at all. Hmm. In my youth, I traveled quite a bit, but that was a different life. I assume that you are seeking information and advice, yes? The only advice that I can offer is this. You will find no wealth in the wasteland greater than that which you will find within yourself. Bask in Atom's glow and you will understand. Hey there. Hey there. Does every game Bethesda makes have a crazy man preaching somewhere? Yes, that's locked, and yes, I can see you eyeing it. Junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. Work. Come on, work. Stupid radio. Goddamn radio. A traveler, eh? I don't recognize you. New in town or something? I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Aravu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Gah, fuck. What are you? <laughs> You're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? Well, now. That's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Mr. Moriarty says we can keep it on. It's a good radio station. I like hearing the DJ, Three Dog, and how he's helping the fight the good fight. If only I was a part of that, instead of being stuck in this dive. 
Oh, yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Sorry, Smoots. Well, where is he? Got something on your mind? It's locked for a reason. Don't get any ideas. Good to see you. Good to see you. Where the fuck is Moriarty? Don't look at me like that. There he is. Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well, you stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault. We die in the vault and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Let's say a hundred cops, and daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. All right, kid. Let me help you out. You know, for all time's sake. If you don't have the cops to pay for the information... Then maybe you could do a little favor for me. Who said anything about dirty work? You need some caps and I'm giving you a way to get them. It's just business. This junkie bitch named Silver borrowed quite a few caps from me. Claimed she could start funneling Jack and Psycho to me for a good price. Problem is she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so she can inject herself into a stupor. Get the caps she owes me and they're yours. Yours to pay me with, anyway. <laughs> Galaxy okay. News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of D.C. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. As you wish. I'm looking to employ an 
individual with no ties to Megaton, no interest in its future. Megaton is obsolete, the last vestige of a cobbled, desperate past. It needs to go away, and you are going to see that it does. It seems Yeah, the voice acting is great. What up, Bob? Oops. How did I do that? Oops. Okay. I mean, all Bethesda voice acting is usually pretty good. It's just sometimes they're extremely buggy. And that's okay. It's not the end of the world when the game is buggy. Guts. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Great. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or, or to come outside for the first time. Or... Whatever strikes your fancy. That's terrible. But it'll be great for a forward. So in that sense, it's great. I think you're gonna like it out here. And here's the armored suit. Just to make sure you don't get recycled into something else's food. That'll be good for the book. In fact, wanna help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Let's see. Dealing with radiation, testing an experimental device, and, I won't lie, it may include some reading. That sort of stuff. You know? <laughs> but for all that, I reading can caps, meds, chems, and maybe even a few of those unique inventions, if you do a good job. Interested? Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? No good at that reading so stuff. Really use a compilation of good advice. Hate like seeing a words. Survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. All right, then. Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that.
Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. All right. Just make sure you can get back. I'll hug the bomb. You got... Sure. Oh, wait. Good hunting. You got a hundred and ninety seven caps. So many, dude. Brother, brother, man. I know exactly where it's been. It was in the sky, but now it's not. Duh. Okay, so how are you guys doing? Each of us shall know feet, shall know an end to pain, and shall know Atom in his glory. I urge you, my friends, come, drink with me and pray. So, this is... Wait, what? Oh, 500 is, is in the middle. I see. So, each of these are 200. I need to get to here. Alright. Alright. Let's go, Nub. Water. Mmm. 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 Delicious. Or a bit over the Geiger counter. <laughs> I can tell you're positively glowing. Now just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. So you're experiencing delusions too. Fascinating. Now, after taking a few notes, I'll take care of that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, 
and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive. Oh, that's the good news. <laughs> but there was a little side effect. Mm. Tiny, tiny um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. What do you mean? A few radiation cams. As my do you mean a mutation? Said, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. <laughs> oh, rad regeneration. I've got to see how safe it is to scavenge food from one of those huge stores out there. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old super duper mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Oh, great. Food is most important. couldn't do that It'd be a real blow to those nice folks in the church besides it's not like that bomb ever hurt anyone live and let live right mm, I don't know about that Take don't try anything don't try anything or else I'll kill you hmm I still want to repair this. I have a hundred caps. I should just get the info now. While I'm here. On your mind. Well, hot damn! Someone. Well, hot damn! You look a real dumb. Billy Creel. You call me Billy, all right? I know Megaton looks more like a boneyard than a town, but it ain't all bad. Take me and Maggie, for instance. We make do just fine. I trade the stuff I scavenge, and she helps keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> oh, sorry. I guess I got ahead of myself, huh? Maggie's nine, sweetest little girl you'd ever care to meet. We take care of each other. I ain't never had a daughter, but if I did, I'd want her to be Maggie. I took her in when her parents got killed by raiders. That was two years ago. It was a pretty bad scene, small settlement up north. I'd stopped in to trade some salvage, and the whole place had been wiped out. I found Maggie hiding under a bed in the same room where her parents had been butchered. We've been together ever since. Easy, man. I have to go now. Mind? Got something on What's it to be? A few caps to find out where your father went? Or are you going to have a go of it on your own? Well, the wasteland can be such an unforgiven place. You got memory problems, kid? You ain't getting something for nothing. So pony up the 300 caps and then we'll talk. Oh, no, no, no. I offered a deal for 100 caps. You declined. So now I'm offering a new deal for 300 caps. But why worry about trivialities when your father's safety could be at stake? I'm being re... The information about your... With the rise in demand... Well, that's bitch. In your mind. Hi there. I'm Nova. New to Megaton, huh? Do yourself a favor and keep walking. Some of us stay for a few days, and then it's five years later. Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. Hard to forget handsome men like that. Hmm, I'd love to spend time with you, too. 
Look, uh, I can help you. Get into the back office of this place. Moriarty keeps a terminal there. Everything you want is inside the terminal. Here's the password to it. Too bad you're so young, kid. I could teach you some stuff you'd never forget. Looking for a drink? You've come to the right place. of a day, isn't it? If you need something... And back he comes. Huh? Got something on you? Wish I could tell him to fuck off. I found the information by myself. I never I need to start thinking about more games to play um ahead of time because I literally didn't know what to play until five minutes before starting stream and I was like eh, I'll play this and so I downloaded it and now I'm playing it and that's how it often goes good to see you Steve How's the weather doing out? It, uh, it snowed off and on, like, a little bit since, like, the 28th. Oh, oh, fuck my ass. Uh, but last night, it snowed, like, eight inches of snow. Last night being the day. Last night for me. Um... And it's still kind of snowing a little bit. The first, like, really big snow we've had this year. This winter. 
should say. I don't... I like snow, and I don't normally mind it, but, um, I worry about Cassie, because she has to drive to work. Why did an alien power cell just fall from the sky? Those monsters, they're, they're gonna give me those things. They keep coming, they scare me. Make it stop. You won't leave me like those big things. They're all over Great Itch, and they killed everyone. Please, mister, please find my papa. Well, they're big. Ugly things that crawl around on six legs. Shoo! Cheap and skitter around, grabbing everything in their path. My papa would always say they're fucking ants. Well, that's what he used to call them anyway. I just call them fire ants. My papa had a gun. He said it hurt those things, but he said they were the dumbest fucking ants he ever saw. He kept telling everyone to shoot for their antenna, whatever that means. All right. Yeah, I thought they were talking about something else. Thankfully, he wasn't. What's with these batteries? I don't remember these power cells. It's weird that the this actually has physics. Hang on. Dumb haircut you have there. <gasps> Ouch. Ouch.
No. Yeah. It do. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Oh. Thank you so much for the small nuke. I'm never good at this. Homes. Three crack. It's four the same. Homes. That's or the same. Old. <gasps> it is old. Is that some Nuka Cola Quantum? For me? Why would you do that? Why? Hey. 
You destroyed the robot. Why? Rads never hurt anyone. I forget that guns just don't shoot right in this game. Yeah, and I'm fine now. Gotta get that free war money. Is it this game where you... There's actually a reason... Is this the game with the brains? No, that's New Vegas, right? Brains, you know, brains. You would know if you knew. You know? What up, Ryu Fox? Both games have brains? But you know what, you know, you know, the brains, the DLC brains. Is that what I mean? Maybe. No, the DLC brains. They're literal brains. Is that this game or or New Vegas? Hey there. That's New Vegas. 
play for that. Evening. We're all still breathing, so I know you didn't scream. Brother, I get so mixed up in this place. I get so turned around. Having been. Got the food and medicine from that super duper mart? Really? You did? You did? Well, all right. Tell me all about it. Oh, dear. Well, I guess the dangers around those old supplies keeps it from being smooth sailing. Otherwise, they'd have already been looted, huh? Well, keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. The taste kind of grates after a while. Oh, uh, and take, uh, take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink more, um, better. Thank you so much. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? Listen, don't talk about death claws. I'm not ready to think about death claws yet. How are those hot little bit? Anyway. No, I need this one. I wanted to sell this one. And I want to sell this. I don't need it. And this. And the mines. This. I don't need these. That. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I don't need drugs. Say no. Oh, she doesn't have enough money. I'm so sorry. Never have too much five five 
six ammo. Never have enough 308 rounds. Never have enough 10 millimeter rounds. Brother. You would not. Good hunting. Unless it Good hunting. Ooh. All these bottom ones are the DLCs. Fine Galaxy News Radio. Good to see you. You looking for the mayor or the sheriff? At least they Im immediately give you a friend and or. Am I playing with any mods? No. I don't really. I talk about this sometimes. I don't really like playing games with mods. At least if I'm streaming them. I'll never play a game with a mod first playthrough. Obviously, I've played these games before, but um. I don't know, I just, I want to get, if I stream a game, I want to give the pure experience, unless there's something that, like, is really worth modding, or if everyone's seen it, then, like, if, if, if and when I stream Skyrim, I'll probably add some mods to it before I to mix it up at least a little bit. Everyone's played Skyrim. Everyone knows about Skyrim.
I the only Bethesda game I've played with mods is Skyrim. Um, I mean, even on my own time, I don't really do mods unless, like, for example, uh, if there's a game that I enjoy playing enough that I want to play it a little bit more off stream or do another playthrough off stream, then I might look into modding it. Or if there's a game that I love so much that, um... I want to keep playing it even though I've done everything, and modding is also a good option for that. And if I do end up doing it, then that's... If I do end up playing it more, that's usually the direction I'll go. For example, I love Stardew Valley so much. I've basically done everything. Um, so if I were to play that game again, either enough time would have to pass since I played it last time, or play with people, or mod it. Um... But I don't often play games more um, after I beat them on stream. And if I do, it's very rare that I even beat it again. Usually just put a little bit more time into it. I don't know. The There's just something about 4 that is different enough from New Vegas and 3 that makes it seem out of place. Um, It doesn't have like... I mean, it's been a while since I played it, but it doesn't really have like... In this game and New Vegas, everything seems kind of hopeless. Like, everything is just kind of shitty. I don't really feel like 4 has quite the same feel. I don't know. Maybe that's not exactly what I mean with, with the difference, but I don't know how to... Describe it well. Let's know that it is different. Oh. Yeah. For sure. I mean... You even, like... You can even build your own safe haven in 4, and that is... That seems to be way easier than it should be. And it's just kind of weird.
Does anyone know, like, the years when the three games are set relative to each other? Interesting. So time does pass, but it's not substantial at all. Oh, right, because, like, the, the time between the Elder Scrolls games are, like, crazy long, right? I don't remember the timing, but I feel like I knew that. No skeleton sex in my video game. Should not be in the bathtub. Aye. Ooh, I forgot about the man. He shoots at you. I'm not sure, why do you ask? What are you talking about, Waluigi time? I actually don't know what you're talking about. Ow, ow. Ow. 
What are you guys talking about? I don't... I've never heard of this ever. <laughs> rack my brain it's been years since i played fort i forgot that the synths were a thing maybe i do remember this I mean, that's some, uh, crying angels shit from Doctor Who. I actually really, like, you mentioning that may reminded me of how much I hate stuff like that. I really hate the idea of something moving when I'm not looking at it, but only moving when I don't look at it. It really bothers me <laughs> in media. But notice me. The stuff you guys are talking about is like shit like that in video games is cool, but also like creepy. <laughs> That's awesome, Bob. I wish I had that experience. Ow! My arms! I mean, that's the type of shit that if it's a bug, you don't say it's a bug. And you also don't talk about it. No, Give no answers if you're a developer and there's people talking about stuff like that. I hear some skittering. It is like the Herobrine thing. 
Just feeding that. Gamer myth paranoia thing. Hour. I don't remember that. But if I see it, I'd probably remember it. Alright, I'm just going back to. Oops. That's not the button I meant to press. I don't think I... I don't know if I've played any of the Fallout 3 DLC. I know I didn't play any of the Fallout 4 DLC. Um... How are those hot little potatoes? Or whatever. You know what I mean. I, and I've played all of the Fallout New Vegas DLC. Wait, but I was literally there. Was I supposed to find something there? I have a, li a landmine. I even picked up landmines. What? Do I look at all the mines I have. It didn't go inside the playground. I know I didn't do that, but I don't know why it's not giving me credit for the optional landmine thing. I guess I gotta bring it to her. I'm gonna get myself a little snack real quick. So, uh, I'll be right back. Don't get into trouble while I'm gone.
Wh why all the beans? More beans? Why ain't no open game? Sorry, I'm having... Doesn't want to open the game back up after I tab down. All right. I close the game and I'll reopen it, I guess. All right, beans. Uh, How many beans? Can you guys tell me how many beans? How many beans we got? And beans. Five. I'm not eating them at the same time. I'm tired of doing that. Two times was enough. Apple. I'll eat like two at a time. But the two times I did 15 was like the worst thing in the world. Those ones were not good. One of those was not good. That was just two of them. Some of these bean flavors are not good. Wow. I walked right by this. Okay. You're looking for the mayor or the sheriff? You want something? I'm having a good bean time today. That's one of the things, I just remembered a mod that I usually played with uh, in Skyrim. And it's the mod that shows you where those gems are. I don't remember what they're called. But it's like, you gotta gather like a shit ton of them. Like, I don't know. 15 or 20. And they're just scattered about the map. The largest map in the world. And it's like, just find them. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. No, that's it. Black dude. That's why I had like... It was a mod that... Just put a quest marker on him. Junk is my business. How are those hot little potatoes? Or whatever. You know what I mean. My very own landmine. Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? So true for all of life, really, but especially the parts involving landmines. 
I know you no. want to see any more explosives for No, no, no. But obviously, you know no. you're around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course. But it's easy to make your own, too. The buttered popcorn one is so bad. Correct. And it's looking very smart. Very smart indeed. They'll be dazzled by our intelligence. Here, for your services, I Ugh. saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course you may need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there. For better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats. Uh, learning about mire lurks. And I don't I hate skills, buttered popcorn, but the bean. Injured, the bean just gives you the aftertaste of buttered popcorn. Out of a bean. It's a crime against nature, and I hate it. Essie... I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going uh, to find a I'm making me eat beans. human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? <laughs> Wow, what a great research assistant you are. I mean, really, that's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Wow. When you're ready, oh. come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two. And I'll take notes mm. and you up. I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages for you. So don't worry. Just go get horribly injured. Oh, and be careful. I'm not eating that one, whatever it was. Give me a good bean. I ate 11 beans. You'd be picky if you ate 11 of the shittiest beans you've ever seen. That last one was actually fine. Sure thing. Hmm. Beans. Information I got. Lot to talk about. Yes, that's lot. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. You're looking to. Sorry, I'm a little busy, right? Now, maybe we can talk later, okay? Beef Jerry. I would never, Bob.
Anyone's name here actually Jerry? Gerald? Chief Barry. Hello. Hello. I think you guys are broken. Angles the moon monkey. No. I'm talking about my legs. My broken legs. Oh! Oh! oh. What are you? Why? 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 Why are they angry at me? We did this.
Oh! I forgot to fix my sniper rifle. <sighs> Not true to life, Ronan's educated. Why am I being attacked? Suck. Now, now, I don't suck. Now he sucks. Bitch. Ooh, we got a hunting rifle. That's what we love to see. This isn't a shelter at all.
We were just talking about mannequins. Now I'm paranoid. Where the fuck am I, actually? Why are there so many plungers? There's so many of them. I don't ever want to go back in there. Hang on. Hang on. Ooh. Ugh. I forgot about these things. Please stop shooting me. Too much calm, brother. Do I see that that's working? Just improves it naturally. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. Night nub. We have a good night. Got some organs. Ooh. 
Do Cassie have a good rest of the day? I'm being shot at from two sides. How do you feel? Oh, I know it does, dear. Now, how... You? At a loss for words? <gasps> oh, it's worse than I thought. Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold still and, and, and quit fidgeting. Ugh. 
How can you be walking around like this? Okay, I even stitched a little smiley face in you to keep up your spirits. It's kind of hard to see from your side, though. Here, take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks, and it should help prevent the effects of exposure, too. There's a sort of mole rat repellent I've developed. I needed to be... There's a lot we don't know about Meyer Lurks and how intelligent and that... Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, the Fallout universe sucks. Not one that I want to be in, for sure. Good hunting. I got at my eye on you.
think I'll just stick with my current non-irradiated life. If you guys don't mind. If you mind, you guys give me five hundred dollars right now. I'll turn into an animal. And then parentheses under that statement is I will not actually turn into an animal. Hello. Yeah. No, thanks. <laughs> the very best kind. Try some. You've never tasted sweeter. I'll warrant. No thanks, I don't want to eat your strange meat. Oh my god! I thought I was dead! You saved me! They dropped this stuff. Why don't you take it? It's all I have. Okay, if you say so. I can't thank you enough, stranger. Karma. I saved her, and then these random bitches just shot her. Why? for killing them. And they got a lot of strange meat. It's so strange about that meat. What kind of meat do you guys think it is? It's Schmeet? God, I hope so.
Brother, stop. Brother, stop. Brother, stop. Down. Oh my god, the most threatening thing to come around the corner. Stop, 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 where is it? Stop it. I know, right, Ryo? What the fuck? Oh, my spine breaking in half. need someone to pummel my back and do a thousand pieces and reform it into an actual spine. Another... Hunting rifle, you say? Well, don't mind if I do. Yeah, I feel safe here. Oh. Those are friends. What? at my pants. I don't know if you guys heard the audible gasp, but I did gasp for real <laughs> when I heard that. <laughs> Why? Why the beans? A scoped 44 Magnum just chillin'. It's big chillin'. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I eat a single bean. Are those more shotgun shells for me? Don't mind if I do.
Why are you friend? Where? Oh. Ah! Really? I feel like I shot at him several times and it decided not to be real. But it didn't do any damage. Is the thing. Not reduced damage. Just like missed him. Point blank. I didn't actually want either of those things. I just picked them up instinctually. <clears throat> Shadow Realm in there. All these parts that I don't know if I need or not.
Jesus Christ. Made me poop my pants. But, I, I mean, there is a crosshair. It's not very good. I see. Paint gun. The friends again. Where the fuck am I? <clears throat> Where the freak am I? don't belong here. The super mutants have overrun our brothers at the Galaxy News radio building, and we're headed there to back them up. You can tag along if you want, but keep your head down and try not to do anything stupid. You've been living under a rock? This is DC. The entire city is crawling with super mutants. Now, if you'll excuse me. That's a... We've got too many local conscripts as it is. Most are undertrained and too damn trigger happy for their own good. Our very own initiate Redden is a sterling example. There aren't a lot of safe places in the ruins right now, but the Galaxy News Radio Building is sort of our port in storm. Unfortunately, the building's been hit pretty hard lately. We're their backup. Watch yourself out there. Redden, on me. You're doing fine. 
follow my lead. No dead heroes today. Where are we going, guys? Drill. Ready. You just do whatever Paladin Vargas says and keep your mouth shut. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, going to radio station. Letty. Uh, thank you for the raid. I hope you're doing good. I love you. Had a good stream. Well, Mount. Blah. Four hours? Oh, I hate that shit. But it is very satisfying when you do it. I had that happen on God of War. Melting? It wouldn't. They're not that off. You waste an ammo. Ah, oh, come on. We just kicked their asses. We need to sweep the area. You think those were all the uglies in DC? You take the east side. I'll go west. Okay, okay. Once we're inside, another mess cleaned up. We'll sweep the perimeter and the you can follow us as far.
What's it doing? What's it doing over there? You okay, buddy? A little scared? was stupid. Would not make me eat another bean. He wouldn't. I guess it's my turn to thank you. Anyway, the area's secure, so you're free to talk to Three Dog if you need to. I'm sure. You can ha let She died well. In the end, that's all that really matters. She died. Hmm. Looks like it's all clear. Unlock. Any person to sell things around here? The look on your face says it all. You're wondering who the heck this guy is and why you should care. Well, prepare to be enlightened. I am Three Dog, jockey of discs and teller of truths, lord and master over the finest radio station to grace the wastes, Galaxy News Radio. Whoa! And you? Well, I know who you are. Heard about you leaving that vault, traveling the unknown, just like dear old Dan, huh? Met him already. Hey, when you're in the good fight, you gotta give it all you got and never, ever hold back. Always dazzle them, I always say. Always dazzle them and spread the word. Imagine a picture, okay? A picture of the capital wasteland. All that brick and rock. A whole lot of nothing, right? There's people out there trying to just barely make it from day to day fighting to stay alive and make something out of what they got. But then you've got all kinds of shit. Slavers, super mutants, raiders. They all want a slice of the pie, too. And aim to take it by force. They can't. Not against those kind of enemies. They just run away and hide, or they stay and die. It just ain't right. So that's where I enter the picture. I fight the good fight with GNR as my gun. The sound of truth goes out across the capital wasteland. Hell, someone's got to counter that bullshit on the Enclave station. Oh, I have plenty of enemies that would love nothing more than to put a bullet between my eyes. The only thing keeping that from happening is Sarah Lyons and the Brotherhood of Steel. We brokered a sweet deal. They keep me from taking a dirt nap, 
and I keep a strong roof over their head. From what I saw, they were the ones who saved your ass. They keep the ruins super. I don't know. So people like you can get to people like me in one piece. Without them, we'd be knee deep in muty shit. Sorry. I'm so used to talking to an audience that can't answer. I just assume you want to hear my voice all the time. So, you want to know where your dad is? Fair enough. We got one rule in the good fight. Oh, damn, Mark. <laughs> one help, you got to contribute. I was scared of the uh ghouls as a kid, the feral ghouls. Any anywhere like dark in this game is like Creepy. <laughs> Didn't like it as a kid. I got through it, but I get that. I have the name and the talent, but what I don't have are people to run out and do the stuff I need. Sure, the Brotherhood watches over the place, yeah, but that's all they can spare. Galaxy News needs a doer. Someone who can go out there into that wild, woolly world and get shit done. So you game? You want to find your dad. And it just so happens his location is known to yours truly. He was here with Galaxy News. We had a great conversation. He's a real stand-up guy. If you want to know more, you're going to have to contribute to the good fight. Well, your dad is some sort of scientist type, some kind of egghead or something. You really think if you find him, he'd help our cause? When your dad passed through here, I spent a good long time talking to him about all kinds of stuff. He mentioned some scientific mumbo jumbo, which didn't make much sense to me. Hmm. Something about a project purity. He also said something about going to visit a Dr. Lee in Rivet City. Then, he left in a hurry. You've never heard of Rivet City? Wow. Just, wow. Well, a whole bunch of eggheads got together and turned a beached aircraft carrier into a town. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Just follow the river south from here. There's no way you can miss it. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I'd go with more dialogue. I guess I'm going to Rivet City. I desperately need to sell things. Can I offer you? What aid can I offer? I'm sure Gunny could train you, but he won't. Not without permission from Elder Lyons. You should ask him. He's usually near the lab.
Wow. Sometimes playing games, even if you're having fun, sometimes games just feel like they're taking forever. Like you're not doing a lot or time feels like it's not going very quickly as opposed to some games where you're playing them and time just disappears. And uh, Fallout is one of the ones that feels like everything takes forever. It's not like bad. It's not like it doesn't makes me not want to play it. It's just I don't know how to describe it. It's like when you're streaming, you know approximately how long you're going to stream for, and you want to fill that time with things that are entertaining. Um, and you don't want, like, streaming to feel like it's taking forever. Or for the game to feel like it's slow. Some games just feel slow. And so it feels like streaming is... Not less interesting, but like... Slowly paced. I don't know how to describe it. Why? Did you... Ah, ow. Ow, 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 ow. Low on ammo, in a way. Much of other ways. It's 
Stop hitting me. Stop it. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. One second. Ooh, nailed it. I mean, I think that there are games like that for everyone. Very hard.
back to thank you for the follow i appreciate it now you were following already for some reason <sighs> i guess that was wrong and the sub thank you so much i appreciate it Tier one sub, brand new tier one sub, brand new sub tier one. Oh my god. Look at that dirty water. Big sub hours. I don't know either. I stream almost every day. Hey there. Hey there. Everything. Stop. 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 Stop it. Hey there. Imagine a world where I could stream and just hear music and not care. Imagine that world. That'd be sad because we'll never live in it. On my VODs on YouTube. Oh, you mean you were recommended my channel back when I was playing Mass Effect. I see what you're saying. Give me a shout if you need any. Sure. Give me a shout. God, Mark. Mark doesn't even know it's me. Holy shit.
Parrot Pelly Boats and Bait. Rentals, Worms, Ice Cream, Talking Parrots. Ice Cream? Where's the ice cream? That's a rat boat. I don't get any ice cream. Kind of sad. Ouch. Why eat bean? Oops, I may have killed this captive by accident.
We're almost there. God. Welcome to Rivet City. Please wait while the bridge extends. Almost to Rivet City. I don't know, were you? Probably guns. Right there. State your business in Rivet City. Yeah? Let me guess. No, she's not expecting you. But it's really important, and you need to see her right away. Been a lot of that going around lately. And I've had just about enough of it. So you're going to have to do better than that. Hmm. Older guy in his 50s or so? I remember him. He left already. But Dr. Lee might know more. All right. You can go on up. She'll be in the science lab. Maybe some don't bullets? Cause any trouble, or else you're going to answer to me. Carry on then. Not thinking of breaking into there. They call me Shrapnel. I run this place. Got the best damn armament you'll ever see. Ain't seen many of those around lately. They're tough to come by. What? Another satisfied customer. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, 
Hunting rifle is 32 ammo. I didn't realize that. This here is flak and shrapnel. Give me a shot if you need anything else. Yeah, I did. Let me or a security officer know if you see anything out of the ordinary. What is the new thing you expect to bring me so Yeah, I know she is. You just want to see her better. You don't get what you want to see. All in all, you want to see her. Where the fuck do I go? Where the fuck I'll be right do here. I go? Hmm. Not that way. I came here to talk to Dr. Lee. Hopefully find my dad, but we all knew that wasn't going to happen. Welcome to Potomac Attire. No. Is there a problem? At the stern. That's the West End to you. Look, Dr. Zimmer, we've been over this. We don't know about your runaway robot, and we don't care. This lab is dedicated to solving real problems. Yes, yes, yes. But Dr. Lee... Dr. Lee is trying to save lives, and your constant interruptions are interfering with those efforts. Now please, stand aside. I'm sure the good doctor's work with water purification is fascinating. But if you only knew what was at stake... I know. I know. Android. What's at stake? You won't tell me what's at stake. Vagaries and secrecy. A robot's a robot, Zimmer, no matter how shiny the paint job. Now, please. Ignorance and facetiousness. That's all you people are good for. Shiny paint job, indeed. You can't even imagine the Commonwealth's accomplishments. You know, if you're so smart, maybe you could help us, hmm? But no, that never even crossed your mind. Go peddle your selfishness somewhere else. Fine, but I'm not leaving. Not until I've spoken to Dr. Lee. I'll be here when she's ready to abandon her chemistry set and talk real science. Suit yourself. Good to see you. You there. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. You'll be searching for an android. He is looking for an android. I knew it. No, I imagine you don't. All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. Not in the Commonwealth. I'm talking about artificial persons that think and feel and do what we program them to. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. Nonsense! This is a machine we're talking about. 
Can you enslave a generator or a water purifier? Of course not. The same principle applies. But let's get back to your mission. You are to find this missing android. I've tracked him to somewhere here in the capital wasteland. He's just he staring at me back there. Drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. Of course. I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. <sighs> Excellent. Locate my android and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. Yes. Some people are Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I it's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. You're James's son, aren't you? What are you doing here? You were too young to remember, and I suppose James never spoke of me. Typical. I am Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your parents many years ago. Now I run the science lab here in Rivet City. It was all I had left. When your mother died, your father decided to leave with you. He abandoned our work. We had no choice but to do the same. I suppose so. I worked with them for several years until... until your mother died and your father decided it was time to leave. What else do you want to know? complications from childbirth none of us were expecting it we weren't as prepared as we could have been you have to understand we were struggling with scavenged derelict equipment we did everything we could yes well uh, I'm sorry it wasn't enough you mean you haven't I assumed he sent you here for that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. Did you? I was under the impression that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted for you. Well, you won't find him here. He's come and gone already. Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and head it off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. I'll go I'll backtrack. Evening. Hi. How are you today? Hi. What up? Yes. Go to the bar. Why? Want to buy a girl a drink? Hey, good looking. How come you haven't bought me a drink yet? Because your hair is really fucking stupid. Now that's what I like. 
It's noisy, dark, and smelly. But we're safe here. No super mutants or raiders. And maybe Dr. Lee will find a way what to up, get scrum water for us. You are. Your law, sugar. <sighs> People like that shouldn't be allowed to choose for themselves what they look like. If they're going to choose something like that. Scrumbular, that sounds excellent. Character or anything? I mean, you can always just make it a different version of the Diablo 2 Barbarian. Eesh. There's a plunger in that safe. Why would someone put a plunger in a safe?
pump. Control. I did buy more shotgun shells. Yeah, definitely a good no vats gun. So you cheated video games, I see. Hmm. You've admitted it.
years behind to make a life for myself. We've spent that time in Vault 101, tucked away from the rest of the world. It wasn't perfect, but it was safe. And that's all I could have hoped for. Now my son is a grown man. Handsome, intelligent, confident. Just like his old man. <laughs> and as hard as it was to admit it, he doesn't need his daddy anymore. I'm planning to finish this game today? I don't know. I'm just playing. Doing what I feel like doing. I went somewhere where I wasn't supposed to go. search for anything of Braun's that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills, and it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. But that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. Wow, way over there, huh? Oh, man. I don't know, Ryu. I just don't know.
Oops. Hey there. I forced him to stay in one place for seven hours by staring at him. Morning. Funny. Don't even think of breaking. Howdy, I'm Seagrave. I've. Hi. I'm C Grave. Pleasure doing business with you. Some dang fool was selling Android recordings. I was just as big a fool for buying one. Here, have mine. Nothing but a damn hoax anyway. Closing time. I hope beer awaits for me. Welcome to Rivet City Supply. I've got a little bit of everything here. Yes? Let me or a security officer know if you see anything out of the ordinary. Welcome to a quick fix. Welcome to Potomac Attire. One of the new immigrants died of radiation poisoning last week. Yeah, I heard she was drinking river water. The ship's water isn't much better. If you Decided to check out the shop, eh? Forty four ten millimeter five five six. Thanks. Don't get fresh water soon. It all end up like this. I don't know if it does or not. Six. Six. It's not. I guess not. Woo. <laughs>
Yeah, we got that SSD load time. I'm pretty cool. I have an SSD or two. Oh. I was going the wrong way. You think I'll run into anything nasty or scary on the way there? Probably not. Hmm. What could be nasty or scary in the wasteland? Student on the path. It's my pleasure to that offer end? death in a variety of exciting is Ryu. Take your pick. Back seating. I'm just kidding. Another satisfied customer. Until we meet again. Hey there. What was what sound? The door did just close, and it's not working, so... What is this? For you guys. Outcast. Did you see that shit? Robo, look at their brain. Yeah, you got a pretty dry brain, buddy. Sorry about your dehydrated brain, brother.
Good night, Southwest. I wish you many brain wrinkles. I hope so. Nice poison gland, buddy. Anyone have a poison gland in chat? Because that one was to you. Fuck is that thing? Get away from me. Yeesh. Oh, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Ah! 
What up, Vaughn? Well, I have done basically no side things. Issued vault suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned tranquility lounger. Please take a seat in the nearest available tranquility lounger. Thank you for your cooperation. Where's my dad? dressed in your vault please dress in your Oh man, I want it in there real bad. Why don't I have any scions?
Fire arrows key. Lost karma. All right. All right, I'll do it. Oh my goodness, look at that animation. Just entered VR realm. Hello. You probably ought to go talk to Betty, kiddo. Don't want to keep her waiting. She's out there on the playground, probably looking for you. Run along now. Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. I'm Betty. I live here on Tranquility Lane. Want to play a game? No. I it's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbum cry. He's the only other kid that lives here besides you. He's a big crybaby. You'll see. Make him cry, and then come back here so we can talk some more. Hi there, I'm Timmy. Wanna play? What? Did I do something bad? No, no! Not my mommy and daddy, no! <laughs> what can I do for you, sport? George Nussbaum, proud resident of Tranquility Lane. Good to meet you, sport. Yay, I knew you could do Perhaps not the most inventive approach, but persuasion can be quite powerful. Well done. And for winning the game, you get a prize. You get to ask one question and receive an honest answer. An interesting choice. Certainly not what I had anticipated. Simply put, you leave when I say so. This place is under my control and I dictate the terms. If I decide to let you go, you may go. An excellent question. Timmy was easy and therefore boring. I desire some real entertainment. The Rockwells are the picture of a happy marriage. Mm. That. Split them up without killing either of them. If you can do that, I'll have a good laugh and then we'll talk some more. Why Bean? Don't you have something you should be doing now? Have you met Doc the dog? 
Here's another new arrival, much like yourself. He might seem a bit <laughs> familiar to you, huh? If you insist on an answer, then you may better know me as Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I've chosen a different appearance for myself here, in my own little playground. It's kind of weird, buddy. Man makes his own VR world, decides to be a little girl. Well, I know I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. Hello? Don't like that.
Son, you've saved Yeah, me. we did it. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but but what are you doing here? Well, I'm glad you did. This certainly wasn't how I expected things to turn out. I wasn't ready for Braun, or I might have fared better. It certainly is. It's nice to feel that I'm on two legs again. And thanks to Dr. Braun, I know that Project Purity isn't lost after all. I was right about Braun. The technology he developed is unstable and even dangerous. But it can be adapted for Project Purity. I need to return to Rivet City and talk with Madison. If we can find a Gek, we can make Project Purity work. Yes, but what I've learned, Madison is sure to see that we can finally succeed where we failed so many years ago. I'd like you to come with me. I'd like you to be there when we finally open the floodgates. That's my boy. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. Of course, son. What's on your mind? It started as an idea, really. Remember the Bible passage your mother loved so much? Free, clean water for everyone. What a difference it could make in the lives of everyone here in the wastes. Over time, that idea took the form of a purifier. Not like the one in the vault, though. This one was gigantic, capable of purifying millions of gallons of water at once. We used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location, right on DC's Tidal Basin. Someday soon, I hope you'll see it work. In the year before you were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant's problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt. And then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came. But then I... We lost her. And I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay. And so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City, and Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years, but your mother... I've never lied to you about what happened. Not once. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time. She was so eager to meet you to make a place for you in the world if nothing else please believe that she loved you very much be careful my son Wait, come back. Dad, come back. Dad, come back. I wanted to go with you. It didn't give me the option. Come back. Ed? What do you need?
Yeah. What can I do for you? Some people are in such a hurry. Where my dad? I told you it would work, Mapson. Now their dad. I'll be right back. What up? I'm back. Jamie, you're back. And with good news. I was right about Braun and the Gek. If we can find one, we can adapt it to work with the purifiers. I'd like to believe you, James. I really would. This is all just so... so sudden. Madison, I'm telling you, this is real. I talked to Braun himself. He confirmed it. Don't you see? This is what we've been waiting for. I... I don't know, James. So many years have passed. Is it really still worth trying? How could it not be worth improving the lives of everyone in the Wasteland? What could be a more worthy endeavor? You haven't lost any of your passion, have you, James? It's as important to me as ever, Madison. I know it's important to you, too. Let's finish it together. James, I... We don't have a Gek. I can get a small team together, but we'll need proof that it works before people believe us. I know. I was thinking about that. The lab at the facility at some old pre-war computer. We need to get back to Project Purity. The computer there is our best chance to locate a Gek. Probably, but we have to try. We need to get moving right away. That's my... It'll be good to work side by side with you, son. Did you need something? All right, let's go. Hello, son. Hello, son. I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. I hope someday I can be as cool as Liam Neeson.
I'm not trying to put you ah! up, but we need to get to Project Purity. Anything else can wait until later. We're here. Yo, what up? Is everything all right? Yeah, we're here. Did you need something? No, I'm just going. Why you two keep stopping? Don't stop on my account. Dad. Now's not the time for dancing. Please be careful. Oh my god. Now, where it all began. You remember your mother's favorite passage? Revelation 21 6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Don't you see? This is what it all means. The water, the purifier. This is the water of life. Your mother's dream. No point in wasting time. Let's get to work. There's much to be done. The project was abandoned shortly after you were born. Things have deteriorated here since then. And there's been some flooding. I need you to get to the flood control pumps and activate them so we can clear out the water and reach the mainframe. The automatic doors sealed when the flooding occurred. So you'll have to use the access tunnels to reach the pumps. Oh yeah. Get the fuses from Dad. I know there's a lot going on right now. This is all very sudden. I just wanted to say, I wanted to say that I'm proud of you. You're a good person and it shows. I didn't want you to think I hadn't noticed. <laughs> 
You've had to deal with so much. We all have. Once we're done here, you can tell me all about it. For now, let's get to work. Right. The flooding shorted out some of the fuse boxes downstairs, including one that controls some of the automatic doors. Here, take these fuses. The box is back down in the sub-basement near the eastern end of the level. Once the fuses are replaced, you'll be able to get to the mainframe. All right. A few minor repairs still to be made up here in the control room. Why don't you come back here and give me a hand? <sighs> Actually, wait. There's one other thing I need you to do. Jana says there's a blockage in one of the intake pipes. It's on your way back. Head back up to the museum level and give me a call on the intercom when you get there. Towards the northeast end of that level. There's an intercom close to the grate you're looking for. This isn't really on the way back, but. Okay, Dad. Just outside the pipe that's been giving us trouble. Now don't worry, this isn't dangerous at all. Just get inside and use the manual controls to drain the pipe. That'll break up the debris enough for the filters to function properly. Now I won't be able to contact you once you're in there.
Oh, why? the authority of the president this facility is now under united states government control the person in charge is to step forward immediately and turn over all materials related to this project that's quite impossible this is a private project enclave has no authority here i'm going to have to ask you to leave at once am i to assume sir that you are in charge yes i'm responsible for this project then i repeat sir that you are hereby instructed to immediately hand over all materials related to the purifier. And I'm sorry, but that's furthermore, you are to assist enclave scientists in assuming control of the administration and operation of this facility at once. Colonel, is it Colonel? I'm sorry, but the facility is not operational. It never has been. I'm afraid you're wasting your time here. Sir, this is the last time I am going to repeat myself. Stand down at once and turn over control of this facility. Colonel, I assure you that this facility will not function. We have never been able to successfully replicate test results. I suggest you comply immediately, sir, in order to prevent any more incidents. Are we clear? Yes, Colonel. Do whatever you want. There's no need for more violence. Then you will immediately hand over all materials. Oh my goodness, Waluigi aid us in making it operational at once. Very well. Give me a few moments to bring the system online. Enough of these delays. Nearly finished. Dead. What is he doing in there? Jamie. He's gone. We have to get out of here. They'll be coming to to evacuate now. There's nothing anyone can do for him. We're going to need you. You heard me. We need you right now. You're the only one here with any amount of combat experience. We've got the Enclave behind us, and who knows what ahead of us. If we're going to make it through here, we need your help. We need to stick together, but we need...
locked door up ahead. I can open it, but it'll take some time. Ouch! I see. What up? You're hungies. Why aren't you eating food? Can't read Pop Tarts, dummy. No wonder you're hungry. Thank you, Mr. President. I knew it. All these books are for show.
honor us with your presence here. What is it? My God. I'm sorry, man. No unauthorized civilians allowed inside the city. You'll have to leave now. Liar! I know you're in there. I know you can hear me. You open this goddamn door right now. Damn. <laughs> <sighs> you you've been defeated by the pop tart curse it's real pop tart curse real with your presence here medicine i'm surprised to see you here. what can i do for you don't talk down to me lions i had nowhere else to turn you must help us project purity has been overrun Yes, I'd heard reports of an incident there. What details can you give us? The Enclave. They've attacked Project Purity. James is dead. There may be more, I don't know. You have to do something. Then it's as we feared. Madison, I'm sorry this happened. I wish we could have done something. Then do something now. They've taken over the purifier. Lions, they cannot be permitted to have control over it. It's not right. No, no, no. Calm down. You know as well as I do that the purifier doesn't work. It's useless to them. Perhaps it's time to walk away. That's not true. James, he found what's been missing. We know how to get it running. Is that so? Does the Enclave know this? No, I don't think... I don't know. I, I just don't know what's happening anymore. All right, Madison, it'll be okay. Now, this is James's son, I presume? I can see the resemblance. Yes, he knows what we need. vault Tech computer, something to locate equipment. Please help him. Very well, we'll sort this all out. I... I need to rest, lie down or something. This is just too much. Rothschild should help uh. you, but don't forget that he's Brotherhood. I've never trusted them. Be careful what you tell them. Welcome. What about that guy right behind you? Hey. I need to speak with you, Father. Certainly, Sarah. What's on your mind? Father, I know that you do not wish to discuss the fate of the outcasts, but there are some who say... You may be a sentinel, but you're also my daughter. I won't throw your life away fighting an enemy we know too little about. I'm sorry, but no. Yes, father. Yes. No, I will not, Cassie. I can't. start by saying that I am sorry for your loss. I was acquainted with your father many years ago. The world has lost one of its few remaining visionaries. Think nothing of it. Now, 
Dr. Lee has explained your predicament. You need to locate some vault tech equipment. <laughs> A gek? Goodness, no. Certainly not. I must say that there are some who doubt such a device really exists, let alone works. If, however, you share your father's determination, I may be able to assist you in locating one. Possibly. I'm afraid I won't be able to assist I would you. never! The news I wouldn't be caught dead with a gap. Be elsewhere. I can, however, give you access to an old pre-war computer from vault Tech. It may have the information you need. You'll find the terminal in the archives in the A-ring. Why are you making me eat beans? Everyone hates me. They make me eat beans. You are welcome. If you require further assistance, I may be able to help. Hmm... Iron Giant. It was 2D. Pretty. You honor us with your presence here. Do I? You do have a, an appointment today. I'm gonna turn to the dust. with that old terminal no i'm gonna turn to dust i'm gonna wake up and turn to dust when you leave ah well that much i believe i can help with step over here for a moment i'll show you where it is so much noise it's where I am
I love having to follow this man a billion light years away. While I turn to dust. Follow me. I'll show you what I can about Vault 87. I'm I'm following. You're not moving. Rothschild, a word, please. Yes, yes. What is it? Robot to fix and all that? Precisely what I'd like to speak with you about. What's this I hear about power consumption actually increasing? We both know that's not an option. We've been over this. A slight modification to one system and all the subroutines go haywire. Don't worry, I'm on it. I come to you for results, not excuses, Rothschild. That robot could mean the difference between victory or defeat against the Enclave. All right, all right. I'll see what I can do. The Brotherhood is at your service. Welcome. This map shows the locations of all known vaults in the local area. Vault 87 has been highlighted for you. There. Entrance to Vault 87 will be particularly difficult for you, I'm afraid. The area is highly irradiated. Lethal levels are all around the entrance. Gaining direct access will be quite impossible. Quite simply, you don't. To attempt such a thing would be certain death for you. You share your father's determination, it seems. And in this case, you are correct. There may well be another way. Vault 87 is located very close to the site of Lamplight Caverns. It is entirely probable that the vault may be entered from within the caves. No, I'm afraid not. After initial attempts to cross the radiation failed, it was decided to focus our efforts elsewhere. You, however, are free to do as you choose. More exploration may be useful, and I'll certainly be interested in anything you might find. I wish we could do more, but the Brotherhood potentially faces a very pressing, very real threat in the Enclave. All of my efforts must now be devoted to assessing the threat they may pose to us. I'm sure you understand. Lamp like caverns. Something I remember hating. Have my condolences. Your father was a good man. Talk to Scribe Jameson. She is our keeper of the scroll. She will want to know what you have found. The Elder Scrolls. That. Hmm. Considering the circumstances, I think it would be prudent if you received such training. Yes. Speak to Gunny in the Bailey. He will train you in the proper use of power armor. Fear not, I will send word that I have given my approval. You'll find him in the bailey. I will send word that I've given my approval. All right, thanks for saying the same thing twice, Grandpa. Love you, Cassie. Have a good rest of the day. Hey. You better drive home safe or I'm going to cry. You 
I will cry. I'll do it. I'm starting right now. I am Most believe it's a hoax. Here's some evidence for you to consider for yourself. Take this holotape. Paladin Gunny can train you. I suppose that I... Quartermaster Durga here. We were quarter. Anybody. But you need to make do the best. Ah, it's. This is not normally so. However, considering. Under the circumstances. Where is the Bailey? I received word from Elder Lion. Don't forget to sign out. Still need to find the Bailey. Welcome. Don't know where it is. You've got a lot of nerve to interrupt. Oh, my apologies, stranger. I thought you were one of these worthless initiates. I swear these kids would be lost. Heard you were coming. Yeah, I can train you, but don't ask me to like it. My initiates sweat blood, and you just get a free pass? Anyway, you ready for this? Now look, to wear power armor, first. 
first thing you need to do is relax your muscles. Let the suit do the work, okay? Now you. What aid can I offer you, outsider? Uh, I'm going to play some Minecraft as I wind down the stream I'm playing for today. But I am, I'm definitely going to beat this game. Probably continue it tomorrow. I just can't bear to do the same thing for forever or I'll die. You know what I'm saying? Anyone? Anyone hear the words I speak? Wow. Minecraft load slow. Uh oh. I get the server to myself. You could have seen it coming. <sighs> it's weird going from, um, all out this game. Boom, 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 da -dum.
set up a little bit more. Hmm. Build the cube. We build the cube in these parts. That's all we do. Ow, that hurt. I should buy like a wrist brace. Damn, that was behind like one block. It's, it's not what you like to see for other people.
I can't, I, I can't build the cube any faster than I am. I need to collect the materials and then build the cube and then collect materials and build cube. And I'm going to be doing that forever. <laughs> Oh, all this another hack I didn't pick up. I'm a big dummy idiot. Lava. Look at him, he's got a little sword. Little baby has a little sword.
Ancient the Bruce.
getting tired. Ancient debris. That's what we like to see. Altier is still here. The Briss, is that you? You brought a friend?
What up, Lily on uh Oi. I didn't get netherrack. That's weird. Why would I not do that? One of the one things I need to go into the cube. Brother, why must you do this?
Whew. You were done. Oh dear. Thank you for gifting us up to notice me. I appreciate it. You're crazy and generous. And I appreciate you. Gotta work. Brother. I appreciate you. Hope work is good. I I I I
brother, it's getting dark. That means monsters are coming out. Scary monsters. Hell yeah.
Gua. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty funny. Uh, big pain in the ass to make. Especially by myself. If there was the enthusiasm of, uh, the cube on the first day here today. I think we'd be done by now or close to it. If, if, it, if the enthusiasm would say the same every day between then and now.
Can't stop yawning, brother. Oh yeah. After I complete this layer, I'm ending stream. I've decided it. It's only a little late. Good night, Liana. There's a fair bit of 
way or left, so I got some time. Big plow hours. Keep right. Keep pricing. Keep placing blocks in the wrong place.
Get in there. Big snow drift. Big snow pile outside. What was the name of the thing I found? I found a subreddit called Into the Shadow Realm. Um, and I highly recommend it. It's just like all videos of people just fucking disappearing. And I really like it. <laughs> My, I was thinking about a series of things that led me to mentioning that subreddit. Trust me, it makes sense how I got there in my head.
<laughs> it's one of my fa new favorites. There's a few that I've been perusing lately. Uh, one of them is that one. One of them is perfectly cut screams, of course. Um, there's one that isn't very active, but it's called You Died, which is like Dark Souls meme, which I really like. I wish it was more active. Closing in on the end here.
brother. Brother. Brother, why am I so dumb?
Almost done. Brother, stop.
Stop. I'm tired of breaking them. All right, that's another layer done, and that means I'm done streaming. Woo! Layers! Getting the cube done one layer at a time. All right, thanks for watching. We play Fallout and then Minecraft. Uh, I appreciate you all. Uh, tomorrow is gaming, so I will be going live late, so a shorter stream. Um, that's okay. And then we'll, you know, continue all that tomorrow. All that stuff. Okay. Ooh, fuck. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. And, uh...